Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. We do have some information on what might be included in this uh, MacBook Air update and redesign, potential redesign. And um, yeah, Sonia is going to tell us more about it. Right, Sonia? These are the features we expect to see with the 2022 MacBook Air. There's a new MacBook Air just around the corner. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple could introduce a redesigned MacBook Air as soon as WWDC 2022. With that, there are some features that are very likely to be available with this new generation of Mac. Read on as we round up what we expect to see on the 2022 MacBook Air. A redesign is coming to the 2022 MacBook Air. Ever since Apple introduced the 24-inch iMac, rumors about a redesigned MacBook Air were certain. Then, when the company introduced a brand new MacBook Pro last November, it became clear that the Air would be the next one to be revamped. Yeah. While analysts Ross Young and Ming Kai Kui first believed Apple could add mini LED to this computer, they now say the company will remain with an LCD panel. Even though, a redesign is still expected with white bezels and colorful options, as you can see in our featured image above. MagSafe should be back, but ports limited. While Apple brought back all the important ports to the 2021 MacBook Pro, it does not seem as if the company will be that generous with the 2022 MacBook Air. Rumors so far say Apple will add two Thunderbolt ports for this machine, one on each side. Oh, that's 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 not nice. <laughs> Excuse me, that's not very nice. I I would have expected. Apparently, someone at the door. Um, I would have expected them to um to give it MagSafe. Like, I, I'm not gonna answer that door because, like, I'm streaming right now. Right? <laughs> Fuck it. Um, I, I thought they were going to add MagSafe for the sole reason of like consistency. I don't know. But on the other hand, yeah, it's probably something that they want to keep for the pro, like pro pro MacBooks right now. Uh, but on, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it does kind of make the ecosystem more complete if it would have um, the Mac safe, right? I don't know. It, uh, it, it makes sense, but it also doesn't really make sense. I, f I feel like for me, I would have loved it to be there. Uh, Mac safe is welcome, though. Yeah, it is. It is welcome because, like, you want that to be there. Um, it, it's, it, yeah. But yeah, anyways, fuck it. Um, apparently it's not. Please call her the Mac safe um, to the flipping Mac color so it fits. <sighs> I know this has been a complaint with the... Um, or complaint. This has been something that people have been talking about um, on the more expensive, whatever, um, um, MacBook Pros. That if you buy the space gray one, it doesn't really match with the, the plug. Uh, because that is just silver. I'm not sure if that is too big of a deal for me. I didn't really care that much. I have the space gray version. I don't. I don't really care too much about what the plug looks like because, like, I don't know. The previous one was white, <laughs> so it. I don't know. It does. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't really care. But for a lot of people, they do. And yeah, maybe if you are going to release multiple colors. Oh wait, I don't have the picture here. Um. If you're going to release multiple colors, was it here? Yeah, you probably want to match it. But they did that with the IMAX, so they're probably going to do that here as well. Uh, I, I would assume. Anyways, um, let's keep it pumping. These are the features. We were here, right? While Apple brought back all the important ports to the 2021 MacBook Pro, it does not seem as if the company will be that generous with the 2022 MacBook Air. Rumors so far say Apple will add two Thunderbolt ports for this machine, one on each side. That said, a MagSafe connector is expected since Apple just brought it back to the MacBook Pro. Not only this connector is a praised technology by the company's customers, but it would also help this Mac stand out from the previous design that saw lots of controversies. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, but like I, I don't really care about the contra uh, uh, about about the problems, the controversies, 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 controversies. There you go. I mean, Dutch is my first language. Okay, relax. Um. So I don't really care too much about that. What I do care about is just the consistency. It's just you have mega nuts on uh, on your iMac. You have mega nuts on your uh, more expensive MacBook Pro. It just makes sense that you have mega nuts on your um, uh, your fucking uh, Mac uh, MacBook Air. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just crazy for that. Yeah, it's just consistency. I like consistency. I don't like fragmentation. I don't like things being different on other devices. But anyways, maybe that's me. Uh, I just it's just my preference. But yeah, anyways, let's Not keep it only this connector is a praised technology by the company's customers, but it would also help this Mac stand out from the previous design that saw lots of controversies. M2 chip debuts with the MacBook Air. Apple said it will no longer introduce another M1 chip. That statement opens the path for the second-generation Mac processors. Naturally, rumors talk about the M2 chip. This processor is rumored to be faster than the base M1 model, but not as powerful as the M1 Pro, M1 Max, and M1 Ultra. As detailed in our article about the new Mac Mini, the M2 chip, internally known as Staten, is based on the A15 chip. Although it has an 8-core CPU just like M1, M2 will bring a more powerful 10-core GPU. Wrap up. Before we do the wrap up. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this is something that obviously the M2, we just talked about it. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as powerful as the M1 Pro and the M1 Max or the M1 Ultra. Obviously not. Um it will just set the base model ahead just uh, uh, enough for people to be like, okay, now if you if you buy the MacBook Air right now, the one with the M1, you will probably still be fine for the next three years, right? But I feel like what Apple is trying to do is just make sure that if you buy a MacBook, it's going to last you for at least five years. And they're trying to get that out there as fast as they possibly can. So if you buy it with the M2, you will probably be fine for the next five years again. So it's, it's for a lot of people, it might be an incremental update because if you update from the MacBook Air that's being sold right now to the MacBook Air that's going to be sold with the M2, then yes, it's not going to be an insane update, like apart from the design. But it's not meant to do that. And that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like it's very important for people to understand that this is um, not something that you update every single year, or every even every single two... Or even every two years. My, my brain is just fried. Um, but anyways, Meganets. Yeah, Meganets. M2 is going to slap different, fam. Not gonna lie. I hope so. I, I hope so. I personally think M3 uh, will be a bigger leap from M2 than M2 will be from M1. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I I'm curious as to why you believe that though. Because for me, I think it's going to be the, the, the process node that is obviously going to be smaller. So like you got a three, 3 nanometer process node. So yeah, it's going to be more efficient, smaller, means also like less... Um, uh, less time to, uh, um, like, uh, it's just, how do you say that? Fuck's sake. Like, these, these transistors have to talk to each other, right? So, uh, the smaller the node, the less time is needed to, to talk to each other. It's going to spend less energy, it's going to be faster, it's just going to be better overall. But I'm curious, though, why you believe that this is, this is better this way, right? So, yeah, anyways. Um... Because A16 is going to be wild. If Apple can't produce enough of them to put in the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro at the same time, shit is about to go down. Yeah, probably. I hear multiple Qualcomm execs are already having nightmares. Nightmares as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's an interesting angle. 
I think that's an interesting angle because that means that um, you're 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 mostly basing it on the the chip that it's based on, which is which makes sense, makes a lot of sense actually. Um, to me, I've, ne I've never I've never thought I've never thought about it that way. It does mean that if the A16 doesn't slap different. <laughs> Um, if it if if shit isn't about to go down, um, we might have a problem. So I'm I'm not completely sure if I just want to put the sole the, the the whole feature the well the whole future of the chip, um, on how badass the A16 is going to be because it probably will be badass, um, but I think in terms of graphical power, for example, the A15 had a huge leap over the A14. Like, I feel like it was 33%, 35%. That was huge. So, yeah, I think the, the leap will be pretty decent. It will be pretty good. Um, hopefully, also 35% <laughs> in terms of graphical power. That would be great. Uh, and, of course, you have to understand that it will be a, there, there will be an M2 Pro, an M2 Max, an M2 Ultra. It, it will all be there, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, ports are not too much of a problem on my air. I, I just want Mac safe. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if it's up to me, you can you can remove one uh, 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 Thunderbolt port and just fucking plug uh, Mac safe there. I feel like it's way more important. Rumors anyway, there's also talk about the possibility of an improved FaceTime HD camera with 1080p resolution, since the 2020 MacBook Air still features an HD webcam. The battery will likely be as good as the first M1 model, but it's been a while since we last heard about this upcoming computer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably because like it's the same process, right? It's the same uh, uh, nanometer, uh, five nanometer process. So, yeah, it probably will have the same efficiency, same battery life, um, something like that. And we will see an update to that in the next iteration, the M3, and then stuff. Stuff will just get better and better from from there, but especially in this chip shortage, um, we just we just it's it's a lot of issues, man. There are a lot of flipping issues here, and we're not going to get into this entire article. But um, what this shows is that, like, obviously this happens every single year, right? Where like Apple is just uh, at some point just going to slice uh, 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 production of something that is going to be replaced in a few days. Um, but as you can see, that's happening right now. But what also is happening is that actually, like, uh, of the regular M1 Max, the MacBook Air is the only line showing any shipping delay. Um, and what, what's also happening is that the the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra devices, also the new ones, are almost all delayed. Now, this could be supply chain issues. Um, or they're just saving up a bunch of these chips for uh, lower-priced versions of the Mac Pro. I feel like the Mac Pro will probably have um, will probably have an entry-level M1 Ultra uh, uh, device, and the Mac Mini might have an M1 Pro version for that. Uh, for it, so it is the the, the higher-end Mac Mini, right? Um, and the M1 Max is probably delayed because the M1 Max is literally, well, the M1 Ultra is literally two times M1, two M1 Maxes. So, so they need something. They need something to be ready, um, be, so, so they can ship something, right? Uh, like for for the for the Mac Pro, and if there is going to be a Mac Mini soon, uh, they need that for the Mac Mini as well. So that's why I feel like there are a huge amount of delays, uh, amount of delays there. Um, because to me, it doesn't... Like, why isn't a lot of this stuff um, just... Why isn't a lot of this stuff buyable? Like, especially like the M1 Max. It has been out there for a really long time. <laughs> uh, I, like... It's still sold out. Even like the pre-configuration of the Mac Studio is sold out. Um, almost everywhere, especially here in the Netherlands. So yeah, I don't know. We need we need something. And um, 
I, I, I think this is the case. I think this is the case. So that means that probably the Mac Pro, MacBook Air, and maybe the Mac Mini are imminent. Some Something like that. At least that's what it feels like to me. But everyone has their own opinions uh, on what this means. Obviously, this is hyper-focused on the MacBook Air. But we can, like, uh, hopefully, if you guys, I don't know, like, this is going to ruin your eyes if you are on dark mode and expecting it to stay on dark mode because I'm going to apple.com and uh, it's going to hurt your eyes. So just so you know, uh, here we go. Boom. Bada bing boom. Uh, boom pow. Okay, so if I just want to buy this one. Yeah, so one to two weeks delivery, seven to nine weeks delivery. So even if you just buy the stock configuration, you're fucked. And um, let's see in the MacBook Pro. These, chi these chips have been out there for a really long time. Seven to nine weeks. Pre-configured, right? Pre-configured. It's insane. The M1 Pro. And it's the same for the M1 Max. So this is stuff that I, I, I think that the reason for this is that they are waiting. They're holding on to a couple of these chips to be able to sell the other products that they also have to release this year. Um, and then stuff will normalize a little bit. But I feel like this is stuff... Um, this is stuff that just needs to happen right now. It's just the supply chain issues, the stuff that um, that they want to sell, not being available to sell. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just supply chain. I don't feel like a lot of competitors are having a better time right now. Yeah, so, yeah. anyways, um, I just I'm just excited for this device, dude. I just I just can't wait to see more about it, and. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, this is crazy. This is crazy. Anyways, let's just go to the next uh, article. Um, let's see. 